Hey everybody, this is Pastor Frank Cook. You are having a good week this week. There's a lot going on in, in our state with fires and craziness, but good news. We are going to be open this Sunday for in live services. I cannot wait to be in the church again with my brothers and sisters. That's going to be happening this Sunday. It'll be just like we did right before the government shut down in person services. It's going to be just like before. You're going to show up. We'll have everybody's temperature taken. You need to wear a face mask. Um, sign seating, you know, and all this and that. Just come. It's going to be great. We're going to worship the Lord. It's this Sunday in-person service. Um, hey, last Sunday, Pastor uh, Graham did an amazing job. Uh, last Sunday, we ended a series called uh, Awake. You know, Jesus says there's certain times in our life when we need to be awake. And I believe he's talking about the times we're living in today. Uh, days that are getting close to his return. Be awake, be alert. Pastor Graham gave, I believe, probably one of the best teachings I've ever heard on Jesus' parable about the need to be faithful. You know, right before Christ returns, he tells his people, be faithful in what I've called you to do on earth. Last Sunday was an amazing sermon. If you didn't get a chance to see it, please jump in. Hey, this Sunday, we're, we're, we're entering into a brand new journey as a church. You know, uh, the Bible says, draw near to the Lord, and the Lord will draw near to you. If there is ever a time to be close to God, it's now. This Sunday, we are going to be entering into a 12-week journey called Experiencing God with Henry Blackaby. We've been talking about this for weeks. If you have not uh, got your book, please get that book now. We're going to be starting next Monday with our first quiet times together. Our, our church is going to be reading the same quiet times every day. We're going to be journeying through the same thought and processes of spiritual journey and understanding God, experiencing God, the will of God, the will of God for our lives. How do we hear the voice of God? We are going on a journey starting this week. Don't miss this. Church, get involved. Be a part of this. This next week, we're starting small groups. It's going to be awesome. Between now and Christmas, it's going to be a zoo in the world. It's going to be a zoo in our country with political uh, elections. We need to draw near to Jesus, and that's what we're going to be doing as a church. The closer we get to the Lord, the safer we're going to be, and the more empowered we're going to be as we draw near to Christ. Next Sunday night, we're going to be having our worship under the stars again from 7 to 8 o'clock Sunday night. Come on out to the church out in the courtyard. We're going to be uh, worshiping the Lord. We're going to be uh, praying to the Lord. We're actually going to be consecrating our church to God and asking God to bless us in this new journey and, and praying for God's um, perfect will to be falling on us, that God would be revealing himself to us. We're going to be praying over our church on Sunday night. It's going to be great. Come out this Sunday from 7 to 8 o'clock. Next Sunday morning, the church is open. Come on in. Air conditioners will be on. We're going to worship the Lord in person. Hey, you know what? God is good. God is good. Jesus wants you to draw close to him. How do you do that? We as a church are going to be drawing close to the Lord in ways that we've never really probably experienced for some of us like, like now. It's beginning. It's going to be awesome. Be a part of it. Join up in small groups if you haven't had a chance. Go on our website, type in, go to Experiencing God, click small groups, get involved in the Zoom growth group starting next week. Get the booklet. Start doing daily quiet times, reading the scriptures. Get the booklet. See you on Sunday morning. See you on Sunday evening. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Take care. Here we go. It's going to be awesome. God's awesome. Talk to you later.